Okay, someone asked me how I do my horns because you'll hear it sometimes in like a sample song, I might use a horn. Um, there's a couple things I do, but it's always generally a swamp, a swam, swam. I gotta get that right, right, instrument. And so here it is right here <clears throat> as an AUV3. And basically I'm running it through this reverb. Now I like tone, tone booster reverb, the lively reverb I think is one of my favorites. Um, and then I send it out to directly into um, an IAA. You can do this as now because Koala is an AUV3, you can use it that way. I just prefer it this way and have it as an over the top. So if I need to move it, I can move it. it gives me more space. So anywho, all right, I built this track. I talked about it in a previous video. I added some bass uh, line notes. I actually played the bass and then I was like, I'm just gonna add these notes and then I'll play it again. Chop it up and play it over. So. This is what I have right here. Sorry about that, hold on one second. Why is it doing the stuttering? Okay, sorry, it was doing some type of stuttering. It sounded weird. So there's the beat. baseline to that one I forgot turn it up just a little bit can't get too loud but you can hear it so I use Adam too now you can record the notes in here if you want you know you can bring up um, Adam to let me shrink the screen because I'm on the iPad mini so it looks definitely is different when you're on the smaller screen size wise okay there we go so this is just two bars but that doesn't mean anything to me I'm just using this but I'll show you why is because inside here they have hold on a second I'm messing all my settings up here let me just open a new one I probably should get this pencil out that might be a good idea right have it and don't use it scales and so if you're wondering, like maybe you're playing a scale that you're not used to, like this is D Dorian. I don't play in D Dorian that often, but I like it, right? The way it sounds on here. So you can select the scale you want. So I'm gonna select D and then I'm going to find, I don't know what this is. Oh, let me move this out of the way so you can see it. You know what, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer. I'm trying to do it this way just so you can see everything, but I know sometimes seeing this screen is kind of hard, especially being that it's a small screen. Is this thing moving? Okay. <laughs> All right, so set the scale to D. You can map the keys to the white, to the white, right? And then find whatever scale you're playing in. So I'm playing in Dorian, so I'm gonna pick Dorian. And now every note that I play will be always, all the correct notes in that scale will play on the white key. So I don't have to worry about making a mistake. That's basically the reason why I'm doing it. And you can see all the notes that it is. So it's D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Pretty simple. All right. So I'll play the, I'll start the melody in here sometimes, let it play just to get a vibe. And then I'll make sure that my X, Air 37 is hooked to this, to the actual, uh, because I want to send the notes through Adam, and then from Adam, we're going into Swam. So, there you go. So now, I highly suggest put a reverb on the Swam instrument. Sometimes they sound okay without it, but I, I like a little some reverb with it. Um, if you have pitch, bend, and wheels, that's good too, like the modulation. You get that. Right, that expression, and that's what makes it sound more real, is the expression. They are not cheap on the App Store, but sometimes you can catch them on sale for like 20 bucks per instrument. It's 
but I would say you don't have to get them all, just get the ones that you're gonna use the most, which for me is like the sax, the uh, trumpet, the trombone, flutes. Those four are the ones that I probably use the most. Everything else is just like extra, and if you can get them, great. If you don't have it, not a big deal. Unless you're doing some type of orchestral piece or something. So anyway, you can hear the vibe. So one thing with the I find with the saxophone is because I'm not obviously I'm not a real sax player is that you just have to sprinkle it and make it hints of um, of goodness <laughs> hints of goodness that's what was, anyway um, so try that out just use the expression with it and try it and move your you know try to find a little pattern or something that you feel fits and sometimes it doesn't fit and that's okay then you might say okay that's, that's not it I want a different instrument find yourself something else that you can work with even if it's like if you want to try the flute out then just switch it out and inside here you can change too you'll see there's other settings on it like here's a jazz flute So there you have it. That's how I do my um, horns and flutes and whatever else, brass. Yeah, that's what I do. All right, so I'm gonna make this one. It's already seven minutes, good gracious. All right, that's the end of this video. Till the next one.